All right, so the next thing is we'll learn how to add B-rolls into the timeline. We can bring in B-rolls and we can import them into the timeline to make our work look much more better and professional. So let's start by the important. I've shown you how to import B-rolls. I've imported them. You can see them in folders. Okay, I've imported my all of B-rolls. You can just go ahead, click on them, and you can see we have images and videos. So let's start with image. You can just double click. We can see the image just like so. We can see a preview of it. You can do the same thing, but you can do the same as to mark the in and out point. For now, since we don't have uh, this and image, you can easily drag and drop it. You can just drag and drop, and then you define the location or how long you want it to stay on the timeline. So you can see, you can just move from here into the image while I explain the voiceover at the background, and then back to the main video when I start talking. So we can just zoom out and zoom to fit. Okay, so we'll be able to see how much the video, the location, you can move it across, okay, as you so wish, wherever you want to put it. And you can easily extend the image to be able to fill up the areas that you need. And you can move the timeline across it and see what and what you can do. By selecting the clip, you'll be able to do any other thing you want. For example, you can come all the way over here, click on the editing feature, and you can be able to play around with the scaling. You can scale it up or down. In the x and y axis if you want you can do all that from here so you can just go ahead scale it up in the x axis and because they are connected you can scale it you are scaling it up directly together and you can move the position you can move it sideways or you can move it uh, bottom or top so you just make sure you get it right so this is um, once you're done you click on ok uh, maybe i want it like this and i want it at this point uh, defined like this okay so next, maybe I can add this one over here. I can just drag and drop it over here and make it smaller a bit because maybe I want it to cover just like this place. You can move the, you can see, uh, after me talking, then this beautiful face comes in and then you can see it stays on the track till the end and then it moves back and I continue to talk. So this is uh, how to add images as B-rolls, okay? They just take over the position of the video and then it stays for some time then come back to the main video. So let's try to add video as B-roll into this very timeline. We can go back and then we can come to videos and we do the same thing. We can just drag and drop the video clip. You can see how much length it is, okay? How much long it is. You can easily bring in your timeline and you have a preview of what is happening. So if you want it to start at this point, you want it to start at this point, you can just select it, create a cut with the letter C, you can just hit on letter C, create a cut here, and maybe create another cut here, and maybe back to the normal mouse uh, mouse pointer. And then you can click to delete this point and maybe delete this point. And this is where I want to appear on my, on my clip. So while I'm explaining, this comes in and they quickly run and then back to where I'm going to continue with my explanation. So the same thing happens. If you want to do some basic editings as well, you can select the clip and come to this editing tab and you'll have access to all that you want. If you want to play around with the scaling option or the position option, or you want to flip around in the right, uh, left, right, or across any axis, you can easily do that. Or you want to play around with the basic composition, you can also do that. Opacity, you can drop shadow and do many more things from here. So this is how to bring in this one. You can go back to the main tab. And we can bring in the second one over here and i want it maybe somewhere around here not reaching the end but then let me bring my timeline to it i want it to have this explanation up to this point when she becomes so happy here i create a click uh, a cut okay just a cut from here and maybe at this point so back to normal mouse pointer delete this delete this and i have my video to arrange at this point so you can just ask play. myself series of Okay, so you can see uh, this is basically how to bring in B-rolls into the timeline and do some basic editing and to make your work appear much more professional. While you explain, you have some images to show or some, Im some videos to show to add meaning, to add more value into your video. So that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>